Hey folks, uh, welcome back to the Progressive Web App Summit. I'm Rob Dodson. We're here in beautiful, actually sunny Amsterdam today. Uh, I'm joined with Andrew Mori. He's the uh, Director of Engineering at Conga. Uh, Conga is a Nigerian e-commerce company and just gave a talk here at the summit. And uh, Andrew, I was kind of curious. So uh, one of the things that you really focus on in your talk is, uh, is cost of data in emerging markets. And I was wondering if you could just, just talk through that a little bit, because I know there's a lot of folks who might be in, in Western markets, they don't even think about what it costs to, to use data on their phone, but how is that different if you're in a place like, like Nigeria or, or India or some other market? Can you talk about that? Yeah, sure, hello. Um, so originally, as, as a startup, we, we, we started a, 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 responsive web, a responsive web app that was sort of work, it works well on 3G and Wi-Fi connections, but as we started paying attention to our users, we, we had a good look at our, at our metrics in our CDN, and we noticed a very interesting stat which said that um, the average transfer rate uh, of data coming out of our CDN is, is exiting at about 250 kilobits per second, which is pretty slow if you think about it. And then we, we, we had to think about that, and we looked, at, we looked at our current approach to our mobile web, and we, we noticed how big our pages were. And um, the fact of the matter is that if you try to, our, our homepage was 2.5 megabytes at, at, at a specific point in time. And if you think about how long it'll take at a rate of 250 KB per second, um, you'd end up waiting 40, 50 seconds to load the homepage. And most users in the Western world would long drop off. Um, but in, in, in Africa, we have a slightly different scenario. The fact is there isn't that much choice. There isn't, you can't just go to a brick and mortar shop. So people are pretty persistent and you know you know um, respect to our users who, who have pu uh, pushed through that but we owe them uh, some sort of improvement and I think um, one of the f one of the big points that came out of our usability tests was we'd, we'd seen a user searching for a product and as as he'd seen that search result as he started scrolling he said hey hey I can't actually do this this is going to cost me too much data and and so we, we realized and, and, and you know, we, we paid attention to the market and the fact that you know, it costs quite a bit of um, money to, to buy 10, 20 megabyte bundles. And we realized we actually owe it to our customers to, to pay attention to that. And, and that's, that's why we chose the Progressive Web App um, sort of system, the, the fact that we can cache all of this data um, uh, with a service worker cache and, and sort of intercept that, that, that network request. And the fact of the matter is that in Nigeria, spe spe specifically in rural Nigeria, um, there's relatively intermittent network mm -hmm. statuses and so in terms of data and, 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 and bad networks we, we, we had a really good match with, with Progressive Web App. And uh, can you tell me a little bit about sort of the, the, the data saving costs that you were able to achieve and, and really like the, the, the pieces of technology that, that unlock that for you? So we, we've done a, bef a before and after picture and we basically recorded how much data it took to complete it. Well, the first thing was to complete the first load, and we've managed to achieve a 92% um, improvement, so decrease in the, the amount of data it requires to load that home page. And originally, the first technology was simple design optimization. So, yeah. you know, basic things like instead of serving massive images or icons like PNG icons or whatever, we've gone with SVGs, and we've paid some serious attention to, to our design. On top of the fact that we simplified it, it made it made it really um, simple. That would be the first thing. Uh, the second, the second way we optimized uh, for data was, I mean, that first load is not really the, the big part of it. It's more the second load and subsequent requests. So on that first load, we're using our app shell architecture to to store all of that HTML, CSS, and JavaScript, and then it sits there in the service worker and in, in the app shell. And the next request to it, it's not fetching it from the network, so there is no data cost. And um, the second metric that, that that sort of screams is the is the amount of data it requires to perform a checkout. So imagine you're going to buy a product. We've, we've achieved an 80% reduction in, in data cost for that first transaction. And the, the technology stack is quite simple. Um, it's based on service worker cache and, and the usage of IDB and, and sort of all of the underlying technologies of um, progressive web app. Um, and there's some other interesting things there, but that is the main, the majority of it comes from that. Very cool. So, and, and, and you mentioned so you got you mentioned kind of a, a, a web technology stack there. And, and as we were talking, an interesting point that you raised was that uh, the engineering team that you worked on with this is not exclusively web developers. It kind of uh, cuts across uh, all sorts of different kind of engineering uh, types. So, can you talk about that a little bit? Because I think a lot of people, when they think about progressive web apps, they see it as sort of a mutually exclusive thing where they're like, well, I, I'm going to have to just drop my native app developers and go with this or something. And it's it's, it's hard for them to choose. So, so can you explain a little bit about the process that you all went through there? 
Sure. So I think it was more about timing than anything else. It wasn't a, an active decision to say, hey, let's, let's have the, the native engineers build this. It, it's more about the fact that uh, this wasn't originally part of our roadmap. We have a very serious engineering uh, undertaking at the moment, and that's all about breaking down our monolithic application into smaller, independently deployable and scalable microservices. And that's where our efforts are at the moment. So our web devs were kind of focused on other projects of so rebuilding some client-side uh, front-end uh, components. And they had been the resources had been booked out. And the only available resources at the time were the native engineers who we were struggling with our native apps in, in any case. So that was the only team available at the time. And uh, I charged them, I challenged them with you know, switching from native to, to, to web dev, which is a, it's a pretty different field. Um, but they seem to they seem to thrive. Uh, not only did it provide some variety, uh, people learned new skills and the new components of the web, and I, I think they did very very well. And the feedback I got from them was nothing but positive. Um, everybody seemed to kind of grasp Polymer really easily, and and that sort of switched to web development quite quite easily. Um, you know, all I can say is you know pay attention to uh, to some of the uh, documentation that. That that's available already on Polymer and Progressive Web Apps. Go into the examples, like inspect the code, and that was pretty much what what our what our team did to to, to build this. Cool. Uh, so Andrew, thank you so much for for being with me today. Uh, if you want to catch Andrew's talk, you can tune into the Chrome Developers YouTube channel. We've got a playlist there for for all the sessions of day two from the Progressive Web App Summit. Uh, also, we're going to include some links down in the description for the uh, Conga showcase on developers.google.com.web. It covers uh, a little bit more of the story of how they built the site and also uh, a few more of the sort of like stats on where they picked up in, in data savings and things like that. Uh, again, Andrew, thank you so much for for being with me today. It's thank been great you. talking with you. Uh, thank you all for being with us and uh, stay tuned for more from day two of the Progressive Web App Summit. See ya.